Das nenne ich Freundschaft. Es fängt langsam an zu regnen und der Sturm zieht, glaube ich, auf. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything that well? <coughs> a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow? Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Beste Freunde. Forever. time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Noch ein bisschen spazieren gehen. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackmore <coughs> Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Das hier soll Konsequenzen haben. Doch nicht. Na, naja, ich wollte jetzt nicht noch jemanden da reinziehen. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Kann ich mit ihm sprechen? Hey Courtney. Ciao Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey Courtney. Ciao, Max. Really? Oh. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Ich weiß nicht, ob das so eine gute Idee war, jetzt doch auf so eine Party zu gehen. So you can almost shoot somebody on Monday and party on Friday? Prescott Fowler. Hmm. Hmm. 
Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. <coughs> it will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. You best not bother chatting me up. Now. Yeah, okay. Hallo, mein hübsche. What the fuck? Ich bin im Cypher Labor jetzt. Äh, ich bin nicht Schrödingers Katze. Bis gleich. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Ah, das war tatsächlich auf einen Hieb gefunden. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts, and yours might be the one that decided. How is your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. But no finger pointing in, Max. More people <coughs> would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use our cameras for good. But people like David Matson want to use them to spy. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. I can't wait for fall either. It's all about the atmosphere. You're the artist and I'm the scientist. Like yin and yang. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Ich würde eigentlich schon längst eine Aufnahmepause gemacht haben, aber wir reden noch mit Ron und dann schaue ich mal. Mal nach so einer Stunde 40. Hey Warren, are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer, perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide. Dr. Max. I have a Metatrium, it's lustig. Godium. Godium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Big brain thing. Hey Warren. Maxwell Silver Ham asking me for half that either. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go Tassium. 
Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Hey, Warren. Ha Asking me for Half Daddy. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. <laughs> yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Yes! That was okay. a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Alright, I'm Brooke here. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. Hmm. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. <coughs> Sorry. Gut. Und wie das weitergeht, seht ihr dann in der nächsten Aufnahmesession von äh, Life is Strange Staffel 2. Ähm, ja, bedanke mich recht herzlich für fürs freundliche Zusehen, wenn es euch gefallen hat, lasst doch eine positive Bewertung da und ähm, ja, schreibt mir in die Kommentare wie ihr euch so alles entsch entschieden hättet, was ihr so alles glaubt, was bisher geschah ähm ja also, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und ähm, bis zum nächsten Mal